You may be wondering why I asked you here today. Well, it all started last Saturday night at the movies. My girl and I were watching The Creature from the Black Slacks Lagoon. Black Slack. Black Slack. Oh, look! Over there! What is that weird, gruesome-looking creature? It's huge! It looks like a... A giant grasshopper with a big beak on it. It must have come from the ocean floor. Looks like my English teacher. His name is Mr. Nick. His name is Nick. It's headed for my girl. What's going to happen? Goodness gracious. Holy mackerel. Ooh. What I going to do now, there? It's looking at them. Oh, look, it's talking to them. They're laughing. <laughs> laughing? Laughing. Laughing. Long distance. Hmm, General H. Mendel Mirbauer here. Oh, not the Army. Navy. Air Force. Get me Washington. Something's loose here. Some creature. We've got to find it and stop it. Gonna find her. Gonna find her. What's that, Sergeant? You found the creature? On Main Street? You know what to do. I'm gonna walk right down that street like bulldog from it. Cannons have no effect on it. The A-bomb is useless. Everybody stop laughing. We've got to use our secret weapon. You mean the... Yes, the gun. <laughs> this is clearly a case for science. Get me Professor Roger Cool. This is cool, man. What's your problem? There's a creature loose down here, Cool. This is a shaky situation. Cool, oh, a shaky going on. I think you and your staff should investigate at once. Okay, man. We'll pop over as soon as we find a helicopter. Well, here we are, man. Meet and greet my crazy girl assistant sinus. Well, hello there, big boy. Teet, cool. You're just in time, boy. The creature has oozed into a cave. Oozed? Man, like, what is it? You'll never believe this, cool. Goo. Goo. Go. Cool. You are going in that cave. That'll be the day. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That'll be the day. I'll go. No, girl, don't give me any of that jazz. Like we have to make the scene in the next picture. You can't stop me, Roger. I'm going. Bye bye, love. Bye bye, happiness. Hello. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Is this seat taken? No. It's not taken, Bert. Oh, fine, Harry. Excuse me. Excuse me. You didn't know my name was Bert, did you? Excuse me. Ouch! Oh, I'm terribly sorry, madam. Thank you. Now that everyone is comfortably seated, we see our lovely movie heroine approaching the creature's lair. What thoughts must be running through her mind? Hello. Come in. Stop knocking at my door. <laughs> I'm not your plaything anymore. Oh my, it's so dark in here. What do you look like? Silhouettes. 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 Back at headquarters, we hear General Mirbauer saying to his secretary, Have a little more wine, my dear. <laughs> Meanwhile, I can't go through this whole movie calling you creature. Do you have a nickname? <laughs> Well, Mr. Peanuts, where do you come from? Over the mountain, across the sea. Well, say, Peanuts, what do you want here? Well, I want to want a lot, a lot of love. I want to want a lot, a lot of love. Peanut creature, if nobody will hurt you, will you come with me? Oh, will you stop talking to me in records? Talk to me in English. What's the matter with you? Are you nervous? No. And so, hand in glove, our heroine leads the creature from his cave to make his first appearance on the popular television program, Creature to Creature. Good evening. This is Edward R. Rumor. Our guest this evening is that 50-foot glob of goo. Good evening, Mr. Goo. How do you do? I told everybody the truth, but they just started laughing at me. <laughs> I ran away from home in Daddy's darn old spaceship, and I'm lost. 
I want to go back because I'm four years old today. Happy, happy birthday, baby. Wasn't that a great movie, Susie? Susie! Wake up, Susie. Wake up, Susie. The movie wasn't so hot. It didn't have much of a plot.